everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Like you know from my title already, in today's video, I will be sharing with you uh, some samples of a cover letter and also an invitation letter. So both these documents are like really important when you apply for a tourist visa for Australia or pretty much any country. So uh, what I'll do is I'll also attach uh, a link in the description box below where you can download it. You can download this uh, and you can modify it as per your current situation or whichever country you're applying the visa for. But I'm going to be keeping it specific to Australia and this video is consider this as a part two of my first video where I uploaded the step-by-step -step procedure of how you can apply for a tourist visa by yourself without the help of any migration agent. So you can watch that as well. I will leave a link in the description box below for that as well. Uh, yeah, but for today, let's get started with the video. And if you're watching my video for the first time, I upload a lot of Australia-related videos on my channel. Travel-related, um, Australian immigrant life, student life. And if this is something of interest to you, please do consider subscribing as well. Before we go through the samples, I want to share a few tips with you which will help you write a cover letter or an invitation letter which is crisp and to the point. Make sure when you're writing your cover letter for a tourist visa, show that you have strong ties uh, to return back to your country. Uh, for example, you can show that you want to come back to your country. For example, you can say you have a family or if you're a student, you can mention about you know, your education. If you have a wife and kids back home, you can mention about them. Or if your parents live in India, and there is some reason that you feel that after your uh, tenure of your um, you know, tourist visa, you will be going back to your own country and you're not going to be staying here or overstaying your visa here in Australia. So make sure you do mention this point when you're writing your cover letter just to avoid refusal. Next point is obligation to return which is pretty much connected to the first point but here just make sure you are giving some solid explanation of the reasons why you will be returning back to your country. Um, to give you some examples, we'll go through this in detail when I share the samples with you but um, an example could be if you're a student and you have your semester exams on a particular date so you can mention those dates, you can attach your you know university documents and you can say that you will be going back to your country to attend your exams or if you are a working person you can you know share documents about your office documents pretty much the way that you work a leave uh, approval letter from your boss saying that you know your leave is just for two months and after that two months you have to go back um, to your work next thing is please mention about any other countries if you have traveled apart from australia on a tourist visa so here pretty much you will be mentioning the countries of where you have traveled how many months and pretty much you proof that you have never overstayed a visa and you're a genuine traveler you're not going with any other you know dodgy intentions pretty much Next thing is if you have a friend or relative or a family in australia please get an invitation letter from them i'm anyways going to be sharing a sample of an invitation letter with you but anyways just to mention what happens is if you have a, a letter from uh, you know a friend or a relative who lives in Australia already, it's easy to do And it's even better if your friend or relative can say uh, that you know they're going to be sponsoring your uh, stay or your food expenses, they're going to be taking care of that, anything like that. If that's mentioned in the uh, letter, it's going to make your application process really easy. Now let's go through some of the samples together. So in total, I've shared six sample letters and you should be able to download this all from the link given in the description box below. And here we'll just quickly go through some of the samples. So this is one example of an invitation letter if you are inviting a friend here in Australia. So here you can see that I have highlighted some of the points which are very important and you got to make sure that you include all these points when you're writing this letter. So here uh, the person who's inviting has mentioned that you know he or she is a permanent resident and he or she is also able to uh, take care of the accommodation and also the living expenses of the person he's inviting and uh, to prove that you are eligible and capable of you know taking care of these expenses he will be attaching uh, you know the bank statements and also rental agreement to prove that he has he or she has a place where you know he can accommodate or board the person whoever he's inviting from overseas so this is just one sample which you can download if you like or just make changes as per your own wish 
So this is again an invitation letter for a friend, but the template is a little bit different. So yeah, whatever works for you, you can use that. And I've also shared a sample invitation letter if you're inviting your parents and I've, uh, I've given you like two samples of this one as well. So you can choose from this. So these samples have two different scenarios. One is for an international student who wants to invite his or her parents for the graduation ceremony. And the other one is for an Australian citizen who wants to invite their parents just for like tourism purposes. Now let's move on to the cover letter for Australian visa. And this is the letter that the applicant will be writing to the embassy, just showing an interest of why they want to come to Australia. So here again, I have highlighted the important points. Like you can see the purpose of the visit is mentioned. And like the tips I gave you earlier, here the person has also mentioned that they work in a particular company and they've attached their leave approval document. So this is just another sample for you all. And in this sample, like you can see, this person has traveled to a lot of other countries as well previously on a tourist visa, which has been mentioned here, like Japan, China, South Korea. So if you have traveled anywhere apart from Australia on a tourist visa, make sure you mention that as well. That's all for today's video. You will be able to download these samples from the link in the description box below. I hope this is helpful. Uh, please do share it with friends or family, whoever is interested in applying for a tourist visa to Australia. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. My Instagram link is down in the description box below as well. So until then, take care. I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye.